the last video, we've learned how to create a functional component. Uh, we've created hello world component over here, and then we've included it in app component and we get this result. In this video, we are going to learn how to declare variable in functional component. So in functional component over here, you can declare variable under here. For example, if I declare cons greeting equal hello world and I save it. I have, um, for example, if I want to use this variable over here, I can save it, sorry, I can save it and then I go back to the web page, I will get the same result. For example, if I create another div tag, I save here and then I declare another variable, introduction equal, my name is Alex and I save it and I create another div over here and I can copy this variable and put this over here so when I go back to here I will see hello world my name is Alex it showed three times because I have include three component in app over here I can remove it leave is only one over here you will see only one for example, in app, if you want to declare variable over here, con, say goodbye, see you again, save, and I create another div, and I put say goodbye, I save it, you will see, it will say see you again over here. I can declare number too, con, number. For example, 15. And then I put number over here. It will show 15. Also, I can put number plus number. So it will show 30. See, you can do like calculation inside here as well. Uh, what is the next step? So I want to explain you that you can uh, return only one element. See, I can return only one element. So I put div tag over here and in app is the same. I can return only one element. I cannot return two element because it's gonna give me error, see? I can return only one element. You have to remember that react functional component can return only one element. I can even put like link con link www.google.com and then I can put a tag hlab and then put link over here go to Google save I go back to here see I can click on the link sorry I have to put a uh, HTTP over here save if I click on it, see, it's go to Google. Just remember that for external link, you can use HLAF in React, but for internal link or the link that's within your website, you have to use React Router DOM to support a single page application. All right, this is all about this video. Feel free to click like, subscribe, and comment down below. And don't forget to watch the next episode about React tutorial.